waiting on T.Y. He's always late. But then again, I might not even have seen him because he is a ghost. You waiting for a ride? No, sir. No, sir. On a fast drive. <laughs> I know that's right. Year eight, baby. Year eight gotta be great for the ghost. Got to. Feel me? Oh my God. You feel oh me? Oh my God. Say what? Oh my God. Say what? Oh my God. Let's yeah. get it. Let's, Let's get it. Go. Let's get it. Let's sure. get it. Yeah, eight. That's all. That's all. I'm on year six. I was just trying to get the eight. <laughs> It's a buildup of excitement for us because the season's starting. You know, my mind's already starting to get on the excitement of everybody showing up. I mean, look, OTAs and the off-season program's great because it's getting you ready. But now when we hit into training camp, now we're building a team and getting our team ready for the season. I enjoy everything about training camp. Training camp is where the emphasis is on let's start from the ground up, lay the foundation again. We always talk about climbing that mountain. And so here we are at training camp. Now that climb really starts. For about the last three to four weeks, my staff, and I've got a great staff, um, they've been packing everything that we'll take. Every department has their hands full because we're moving our entire operations. We take our facility here and, you know, we move it to Grand Park and it takes a lot of people. It takes every football department. It takes a moving company that's on the same page. It takes a lot of interns that, that put in a lot of work. And the idea is to, you know, allow the coaches and the players to really just walk in and be ready to work. For us to move 30 minutes up the road, the amount of work and planning it takes, just so much appreciate all the work behind the scenes. As coaches and players, we step in and everything runs like clockwork. I will bet that we're, we're over 2,000 pounds of, of equipment that's going uh, between cameras, computers, servers. We have roughly 62 offices or meeting rooms that we have to outfit. Everything that we need, I, I bet you we're over 2,000 pounds. Way back in the day in 1984 when we started, there was a lot of stuff that you took, but not a lot of it uh, type thing. But now there's just so many more different things that you use. We had all the trunks that we have for road trips, and then all of our modalities, all of our supplies we're gonna use, all the tape, the band-aids. There's a whole lot of stuff that's uh, specialized rehabilitation equipment that we use, treadmills and things like that. So those are you know, one item, but very big, bulky, and all that kind of thing. There's a small clinic up there that we work out of, but they don't have any tables in it, so we take all of that furniture with us. Well, we probably take close to 80% of everything that's, that's in this room right now. Shoe-wise, um, probably 150 pair for sure. Helmets, shoulder pads, 25 to 30 sets of, of each shoulder pad, and probably about the same helmet-wise as different players uh, you know, come in and out of the, of the roster, so we can't forget anything. It'll take us a couple of days up at Grand Park to get everything set. What we found here in Grand Park's pretty unique. Grand Park is attractive to us in a lot of ways, from the people of Westfield, the Grand Park staff, the volunteers. Our biggest benefit at training camp is that we have indoor field. Just the proximity of everything, you know, where the training room is, where the weight room is, where the meeting rooms are. You just like to have everything central, keep guys together, stay focused, minimize time traveling, and be able to be in the moment for whatever is next up on the agenda. And it's just really set up well for that. Anytime you go to training camp, it's gotta be 
for the team to get ready for the season. That's got to be number one priority. But number two is for our fans to be able to get an up close and personal look of our team and really make a connection with our team. There's nothing like being able to meet your favorite player, to watch Andrew throw balls to T.Y. Hilton, to watch Quentin Nelson and Ryan Kelly practice one-on-one -on -one against Autry and Justin Houston, to see them in a different setting that you do on game day. I just think it's a way to connect that's different. And it's free to the public, and they're able to come out each and every day as much as they want. They're so close, and they can see the drills. The fans can hear the conversations that are going on between a coach and a player sometimes. I just think it draws the fans into a more intimate look. Year six of my life. I'm ready. Are you about to work? I'll go have some fun. We got 16 training camp practices. That's it. 16. We got to wire in on these 16 practices. We can do anything for 16 days. You can get focused, eliminate every distraction. It's all football 24 7. You know, you get into the season and they have off days and they go home and they do. But this is training camp for 16 practices. This is eat, sleep, and drink football and begin to create something special that can help us along the journey. All right, hey, good first day. Good first day. What it felt like out there, what it felt like was that we had a bunch of guys out here who this is the only place we'd want to be and with nobody else. So the intensity was good. The execution was good. We'll clean up the things that we need to clean up. But good, good start for us, right? Good start for us. Let's just get in that grind, get in that mode, right, where every day we come out at that speed. All right, A-Dub, you got us. Boy, it's good first day. Let's keep getting better each day, boy. Post on three, one, two, three, go!